Hello again, it's Mr. Dixon, your Too Cool for School Counselor, back with another episode of Mr. Dixon's Doodles. Today, we're going to talk about time management. First, we'll start by describing what time management is, then we'll talk about why it's important. Lastly, we'll talk about some strategies you can use to help plan and manage your time. The term time management describes the way someone manages their time and decides how and where to use it. Someone with good time management skills is able to be more productive and get things done much sooner and usually at a higher quality. When we have good time management, we can better plan and balance things like schoolwork, time with friends, and other activities we want to do in a day. Having poor time management skills can lead us to putting tasks off to the last second, which can result in work that's not our best or sometimes not even getting it done at all. I'm sure at some point we all have been or know that person that procrastinates, which means waits to the very last second to do their work. Even if they may get it done on time, I can almost guarantee their work is not as good as it could have been if they would have managed their time responsibly and started working on it sooner. We all only have the same 24 hours each day, which is why it's important that we learn about and practice good time management skills. One positive about being in school is that it gives everyone a set schedule for the day. A normal school day might look something like this. 6.30 a.m. you wake up to get ready for school. 7.30 you eat breakfast at home or head to school for breakfast. 8 to 11 your class might work on reading and writing. 11 to 12 your class might have lunch and a break for recess and so on. As you can see, going to school gives us a pretty set schedule and makes it much easier for us to manage our time. During a regular school day, you usually know exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it. Teachers and other staff members are also there to help make sure you're sticking to that schedule. Now, let's look at a day where you're doing something like e-learning. You're probably sleeping a little bit later since you're working from home, so maybe you wake up around 7.30. You eat some breakfast, and then you get ready for the day. Around 8.30, you get on the computer to see what lessons you have for the day. The big difference between this and a normal school day is that at school, you have your teacher, whose job it is to help you stay focused and manage your time throughout the day. Most people don't have that at home. Even if your parents are there, they probably have other things to try and manage and take care of at the same time. They might have their own work to do from home, have to clean, cook, or take care of other siblings. With great time management strategies, you can successfully balance your schoolwork and other things you want to do. This is a especially important skill to have in times when you're doing things like e-learning. It's clear to see why learning great time management skills is important for you to be effective in and outside of school. Even when you're finished with school and have a career one day, you'll have to be able to successfully balance and manage your time. Now, we're going to discuss the three essential parts of effective time management. If you can do each of these pieces well, you'll have no problem balancing your time between work and other things that you enjoy to do. These three parts are planning, prioritizing, and scheduling. The first step in time management is the planning stage. During the planning stage, you look at all of the work that needs to be completed. For example, I might go to my Google Classroom and write down all the work my teacher has assigned to me along with the dates that they are due. Once I have all of my assignments that I need to plan for written down, I can move to step two. Step two is deciding which work is a priority. A priority is basically something that's most important to get done or finished before other things. An easy way to prioritize work is to organize it according to the due date. If something is due today while another project is due next week, it would usually make sense to make it a priority to work on the assignment that's due today. You can also prioritize your work based on which things are easier and more difficult for you to do. Some people like to start with the most difficult work and finish it first, while others like to start with the easier things first and work their way up. Any of these options will work as long as it's something that you can stick to. The third step of time management is scheduling. Now that you have a plan of all the work you need to do and have set your priorities, it's important that we make a schedule of our work. Writing down schedules helps us to remember what we need to do and provides a guide that we can follow so we always know what to do next and when we need to do it. A couple of easy ways you can do this are to take a piece of paper and divide it into 24 spaces. Each space represents one hour. You could then use your plan and priorities and schedule out your day. Don't forget to add in things like sleeping, eating, and breaks. We can do the same thing by using a circle and imagining our day to be a 24-hour clock. I like to use this method and color in different parts of my day so I know what activity I should be doing at what time. Here's an example of what that could look like. Maybe I would spend some time working on my reading. I can color that in red. I could also color in time for things like lunch breaks and maybe some time to step outside for a little bit. As you can see, using the three-step process of planning, prioritizing, and scheduling is extremely helpful for us when we're trying to manage our time effectively. 
Throughout this video, you've learned about what time management is, the importance of good time management, and lastly, how planning, prioritizing, and scheduling can help us manage our time effectively. Remember, having good time management not only helps us do better at our schoolwork, but will also help us in our everyday lives. When we manage our time properly, we don't have to worry and stress about running out of time to do things. Great time management helps us to get things we have to get done faster so we can get to the things that we want to do sooner. That's all for our lesson on time management. Until next time, remember that you are competent and capable, so always be confident. See ya!